what's up babes it's curly victoria i am back with yet another video so my rug is wet so i'm sitting like i'm a bit uncomfortable but we're gonna make this work so if you're new here hi welcome to the channel if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back so i'm just gonna shoot a video just talking about my hair i feel like i do this every single time now let's go back to my actual channel if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel what are you doing sis you should be subscribed so go ahead and subscribe while i'm looking for what i'm looking for i'm talking to you 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 and you if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe follow me on instagram at curly's victoria spell the exact same way as my youtube name so if you don't know how to spell it sis just look at my username on youtube and that's how you spell my tiktok my poshmark my instagram my youtube let me go to my page because I stay, I don't even want to make this up. Because y'all know we're getting close to the retwist and um, we're waiting till we hit day 90. Two days ago, let's see what day did this fall on. The 19th, today is the 21st. So two days ago I was 84 days, no retwist. Today I'm 86 days, no retwist. Y'all, that is a long time, okay? not really but really we're about to hit 90 days so we're about to essentially hit three months your girl has not retwisted her hair and this is what we're looking like sis now to be quite frank with y'all i'm not gonna lie i thought about going just zooming right past the three months and not retwisting my hair but i think because my hair literally i've done a lot of separation my locks have all, you know, at some point tried to marry each other. I think it just might be smarter to go ahead and do a retwist. Now, I might embark upon another no retwist for like a, you know, three months or maybe a month. Maybe I'll do retwist like once a month for the rest of the year, which is November, December. Girl, I don't know, because part of me is like, girl, we can go all the way to the new year if you ask me we don't have to retwist our hair so this is what my roots are looking like can y'all see i'm gonna move the camera this is what my roots are looking like girl it's giving not retwisted okay my roots are super thick i'm just gonna put my head down so y'all can see You can see at the crown of my head, that's where a lot of the fluffiness is, and that's simply because my hair needs to be um, retwisted. It doesn't need to be retwisted, but it will be fixed when I do retwist it. I just have an oversized t-shirt, so let me pull it down and turn around to show y'all the back of my hair. Okay, I'm like really close to the camera, so I'm not sure if you guys were able to see that very well. Um, but like I told you guys, we're in, a, we're in a predicament right now, okay? Sis, I cleaned my rug today, and it's still drying, and it's still wet, and it's taking up the majority of the floor right there. And your girl don't want to be stepping on a wet rug when your girl took a shower, and I'm clean, okay? Ain't got time. My rug is clean, but don't nobody want water all over their feet. So... I'm just going to let this air dry all night because it's going to need it. It's like it was like drenched today. Um, but anyway, so this is what my hair is looking like. I went through on day 84 and physically separated. So if you didn't see my last video where I went through and girl, I was like, girl, one, two, three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I was like separating my locks and go check that out because girl. It was a lot, I ain't gonna lie. It was a lot. It didn't take me long to do what I'm saying, but the feeling is like, gotta keep ripping the locks apart. Here's another dragon. I call them dragon, like two-headed dragons, because look, separates, and there's two. Um, but it's literally one lock. So a long time ago, I combined some of my locks that I felt like were thinner at the root, and they just like kind of married together and they're about to completely, completely be married very soon. So I have several locks throughout my hair that looks like that. And that just simply comes from me actually combining them. 
um but like i told you guys grow do you see this do you see this do you see this my hair is very thick and very very healthy like i am super impressed with the health of it all like i said we'll hit 90 days in three four days three days four days what did i say 86 four days we'll hit 90 days and i honestly cannot wait but for real for real y'all don't be surprised if we get to day 90 and i'd be like we still not gonna retwist our hair but like i said i think for the sake of my roots needing to just like i have to go back through i, don't, I know you guys can't see this I have to go back through and I have to establish parting and all that because look, just look how look how much. New growth. Just look at that. You know, like look at look at this. Can y'all see? Because I told y'all the, the angle of this camera is a bit low from how I'm sitting, so I'm trying to bend down. But y'all see my hair. It still could be managed. I still can manage it without a retwist. But like I said, I think I'm just going to do it. Um, since you guys are probably anticipating the 90 day like completion of this all. But also, just to give my hair. Excuse me. Give my hair a little bit of um, reset. So I can just go ahead and reset it. But do y'all see this? It's the real locks in the, um, it's the real locks in the, um, health for me. It's the health for me. The length is right, right there with the health, but it's really the health for me. Um, January, we will be two and a half years. So I haven't even hit the two and a half year mark on my hair. My hair will be two and a half years in January and my hair will be three years in July. So the first of every month is my like lock anniversary or month anniversary, um, and my actual lock anniversary like is July first, twenty twenty one. Just look at that, super healthy. Just to be quite frank with you guys, like I said, I'm not knocking people with color, like I'm not locking knocking people with lock color or anything, but being a person who had locks before and I used to color my hair like i used to color my hair when i was locked the first time i would notice like weak points in between my locks like this right here where it feels thick and textured i would just feel like i can feel my fingers straight through because it would have gotten so weak to where the lock wouldn't even it would be like dead there not every one of them but a good majority of them and because probably because i've not been bleaching my hair this time around I don't notice those weak points. Like I said, y'all, I don't see myself coloring my hair anytime soon. Not to say that I won't ever bleach or color my hair, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. When I started this journey, the second set of locks, I started them bleach blonde. Like day one, I bleached my hair blonde and I locked my hair all in the same day i use color oops to remove some of the color and i know normally when you bleach your hair you kind of want to wait a few weeks or so and just do things in stages so your hair can take better as far as the health aspect but i didn't have time to do all that i needed to color it and start the locks asap and it was summertime so on july 1st i ended up going from the color straight to the starting locks myself and i started my hair comb coiled so i started the comb coils and girl you might look at me and think, well, what is that? <laughs> what is that about to be is the way that it looked. And maybe um, for my three year, I'll probably do visual, lock visuals and show you guys. I've done lock videos and I've done year one, year two, year three, those type videos throughout. So if you really want to see, you'll have to go back, back, back. But um, yeah, girl. excuse me i don't know why i keep going i need to make me some coffee but i was trying to avoid making coffee but y'all i'm gonna be up i gotta get work done but i think i'm gonna have me a cup of coffee um 
so I can get work done. I think I might eat first. I don't know, should I eat first? It's 5.15. Part of me think I should eat, but I need to stay up, so I might eat now, then have coffee. Then later at night, I might have some vegan chicken tenders. Or maybe I'll have those now. Well, I don't know, sis. No, I think I'm gonna eat the rest of that bowl today. But anyway, this is what my hair is looking like, y'all. It is thriving. I think a lot of my growth is coming from, like I said, how I eat, what I eat. I eat healthy, I drink lots of water. I've been minding my business, that's key. Um, like I said, drink your water, mind your business, um, pray, um, thrive. Mm. <laughs> no, but it's really coming from a lot of what I'm nourishing my body with. Um, I would definitely say also the simple fact that I'm not, I'm not retwisting my hair often. I've not retwisted my hair in almost three months now. And then also when I wash my hair, I'm washing my hair with nourishing shampoos. You guys know I really don't use conditioner. If I use conditioner, it's because I want a complete hair wash, okay? Over these last three months, I haven't really oiled my hair much. Like, you guys know I have my oils, but I have not really oiled my hair much since I've been doing this. And I've not experienced, like, itching as much. If I did itch, it would probably be because my hair needed to be washed. But I haven't really experienced itching, which is why I tell you guys, a lot of times if my hair does itches from the product, it's not from the simple fact that my hair just itches. If you keep your hair moisturized, um, like with water, or you keep it um, can, uh, shampooed, or you put your avocado, like when I use that avocado hair milk that I show y'all, that I had left over from when I was a curly, loose natural, I just be putting that on my edges. I haven't put any of that on this week though, but I'm just saying. If you keep your hair just simple, drink water, eat healthy, put water in your hair, whether you're rinsing your hair throughout the week, throughout the day, um, and you're just taking care of your body, you're gonna notice that your hair probably is not gonna be itching like that. And if it does, it probably will be because of an indication of dirtiness, not because like you got dry scalp. If you are feeding your body and you're giving your body healthy nutrients and you're drinking water, your hair, your scalp is gonna feel those things that are happening inside. So like I said, depending on the climate you live, like during the summer times, especially for just about anyone with locks, rinse your hair as often as you want during the summertime girl i will jump in the shower and just rinse my hair and won't even put any type of product um as it's fall now i mean it's still hot out on days but on the cool days i can't walk out so i was just like bone bone straight wet hair i'm not trying to get sick I'm not trying to get pneumonia I'm not trying to get bronchitis or anything else out there but on the hot days when i take a shower Girl, I can leave my house with my hair like still wet and it's gonna dry while I'm out. Um, excuse me, but like I said, as it gets colder, don't be sitting here telling your people, Carlisa Victoria told me to go rinse my hair and go about my day and it'd be like 10 degrees with y'all weather. Don't be, don't be lying on me, sis, okay? Um, but yeah, just take care of your insides and it'll show on your outsides and then drink water rinse your hair be careful what kind of uh, products you use you want to make sure that you're not having alcoholic like alcohol in your products because a lot of times i can't speak for every woman's hair but alcohol is a drying agent and it will dry your hair out and you'll be trying to figure out why is it drying out and the whole time it'd be a product i was saying this the other day a couple weeks ago i had to try the orange bottle of cantu and I was noticing it was really lathering, but my hair would be dry. And I'm like, well, it's not the, I could, I had to determine was it the, the Cantu or was it the, um, the shampoo from the um, Suave like Gold Collection series. And I'm like, well, I don't think it's that. And I'm, and I washed my hair separately with the Cantu, and I'm like, it's definitely the Cantu. And I can't remember the username, but somebody commented in the comment section like, you might want to um, make sure that it's not the Cantu. And I'm like, yep, girl, girl, it's the Cantu yes it is back in the day when i used to use like the white and orange can too i never experienced that but this was the orange brown bottle and then obviously my hair is locked it's no longer curly loose natural so it could you know it could it could be a little different and then your hair over time the products that you're able to use five six years ago your hair might not even like like those products five six years later so i just 
encourage you guys to listen to your hair. That's the biggest reason as to why my hair grow. And y'all think I'm making this up. Listen to your hair. Your hair tells you exactly what it needs. Like, look, look from the side. The length. Do y'all see this? Like, my hair tells me exactly what it needs. Now, the person, the problem comes when the person doesn't listen to the hair and thinks that, oh, I know what's best. Well, sis, yes, you do run your hair, and yes, you do run your head, but you're also running your mouth and you're not listening, okay? I be having to have these conversations with myself. I'm like, uh-uh, mm -mm. your hair doesn't want what you said you're about to do. And I'll be like, okay, fine, I'm not gonna oil it. So, um, I really do listen to my hair. Like, really listen to my hair because you could be running in the bathroom to oil your hair and if your hair is not thirsty for the oil sis why are you running to get it why why question mark why so listen to your hair that's going to be crucial if you sitting here doing everything that your hair is not asking for don't be mad when you don't see growth or you don't see that your hair is thickening or getting healthy or you know flourishing or it doesn't just look like it's healthy don't be surprised it's because you're not listening you're not you're not <laughs> I tried to make up my own little signs to that and I don't think it's right but um yeah that's the biggest key just listen and it's crazy because when I had my first set of locks like I told you guys I just wanted to do something different to my hair I, I got them in 2012 and I combed them out like 2014-15 and I just wanted something different. I wanted something that was natural hair, but different. And I didn't treat that as a journey. I colored my hair often. Yeah, I took care of moisturizing it, putting you know products here and there and stuff like that. But because I didn't see it as a journey and I just saw it as something different to do to my hair, I think even the treatment is different. Not to say that you hadn't taken care of it, but when you see something more of a lifestyle and as a journey, you are very much more cognizant of what you're going to do um so that's just that and um i don't know when i sometimes i just think back to when i once had them now that i have them because the length that i'm at now is probably the length i think i'm a little bit longer if not the length mm, i think i'm a little bit longer of when i combed out my other set of locks so and I didn't save my locks. I combed them out and saved my hair. So I don't have locks to attach. You know how people save their locks and they attach them? Don't have that. So they're just really healthy, flourishing. I'm so proud of myself on how I've been taking care of my hair. But also, um, I just remember the first set of locks. I couldn't wait. Like, I can't wait till my hair grows now. But I'm just saying, like, I was anxious for growth. In this journey, I'm not anxious for growth. I really can't wait to my hair grow. I'm excited about it, but I've been embracing every little minute, every little step of the journey. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, who is this? Who is this? Because girl, sometimes my hair be hitting a growth spurt and I'm just like, when? While I was asleep? So, I don't know. So, I'm, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I think I'm at a really good length right now. I'm at a length where if my hair never grew anymore, I would still be impressed. Um, because I think that is at a good length that suits me, but girl, girl, <laughs> when this hair gets down my back, please, if I, if I, if you see me out somewhere and I, and I look like, or you think I'm acting like, oh, she thinks she, all that, sis, it's probably really going to be that about my hair, okay? It's not going to be that I think I'm all that. It's going to be that my hair thinks it's all that. You feel me? Because when I had that little ponytail and that ponytail was actually back and down my back. I'm gonna be going on hair dates. Who you wanna who you wanna dinner with? My hair. My hair. And it do move. It do move. But yes, y'all. I cannot wait. But I've just been embracing it. Like I make all these jokes like I think that when you're just in a good space of life and you're where you're supposed to be, everything just just aligns just properly and that's what's been happening. Everything is aligning just the way that it's supposed to align. And because of that, I'm happy, I'm excited, 
I'm looking forward to, you know, the growth and, and things like that. So, yeah. I was supposed to make a phone call today that I did not make. And it's Thursday and the business is closed. No, I think they closed at four. And then they, they only open back on Monday. Mm. I don't know if I'm gonna get an email. I'm so upset because I totally told myself, and I know this was random earlier, that I was gonna call. Did not call, forgot. Man, let me see if I got any emails. I can't even call because I just realized that they closed at four. It's like five something. I was looking today to see if I got an email. I'm not sure where I would get the confirmation that they received my stuff. Yeah, I don't think so. So, okay, I know I just took like two minutes to really be in my business that y'all don't care about. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I didn't get no email. My ear is itching. And sometimes when I fall asleep on my jewelry, that's another thing too, y'all. Be careful when you put your products in your hair. Sometimes when I do my edges with my got to be, girl, sometimes my like side edges be like glued to my ear. And then also when I fall asleep on my jewelry, my ear sometimes like kind of swells up so i need to make me a saline solution to fix that but anyway that was tmi i just since we're talking about my hair in my life might as well but anyway yes yeah, girl this is what we're looking like i'm excited it's fall 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 Fall, falling in love with your hair, period. Falling in love with you, not even just your hair, falling in love with you, sis. Cause you're bomb. If nobody ever tells you, male or female, and you're watching my channel, you're the best, you're the greatest. You're gonna accomplish and achieve everything that you set out to do. So don't sleep on yourself. While the whole world is sleeping on you, wake them up and be the greatest you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment share subscribe follow me on youtube at curly's victoria follow me on instagram at curly's victoria a little ashy in between the fingers there um yeah and i'll see you on the next video